Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to another BitPass tutorial. In this video, we will learn on how to add another sales type in the BitPass system. Sales type is used to add a specific price type for your product. You can add a multiple pricing to a single product using different sales types. For example, you have retail, wholesale, and Soki prices for a single product. Let's start. Open your back office. Go to sales section. Click sales type. Here on the sales types, you can add different sales types as much as you can. First example, we will add another sales type that is non-VAT. If ever you are selling non-VAT products, you need this kind of sales type. So let's proceed in configuring our new sales type. Sales type name, non-VAT. Calculation factor, remain as is. If you change this, the value you put will multiply with the price that you will input in the sales pricing. Example, you change this into 2, and you put a price of 50 using the sales type. Your price will become 100. Let's proceed. Tax included, leave this unchecked, since we are adding a non-VAT sales type of course, it does not have a tax. But if you are adding another sales type, other than non-VAT for example, a Soki price, put a check on this because it has a tax included. Click add new button. After successfully adding the new sales type, there is a green text notification. Let's check and try this sales type in our sales pricing page. Go to item slash inventory. Choose sales pricing. We will just choose a random item to put our non-VAT sales type. For the list of non-VAT products check it with the BIR resolutions. For the sake of this sample only, we will use the Coca-Cola Original Taste 2 liters item. In the item text box put the Coca keyword and press enter. Click the drop down arrow to verify if this is the item that we are looking for. Click the item. Now we can see that there is already a retail price to this item, which is 75 pesos. We will add another price to this item using the non-VAT sales type. Sales type, non-VAT. Price, 66.96. Click the add new button to add the new price type. Now we can see that the Coca-Cola item has already two sales types a retail and a non-VAT price. You can add as many sales type that you want to input into your item. And that's how to add and use the sales type of the BitPass system. Next in the video series we will learn on how to use the sales type in the cashiering side. Until then, thank you for watching. This has been Tech James for your BitPass tutorials. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified whenever BitPass post another tutorial or new product.